right friends welcome back to facts and figures for 9th week the first one is india's integrated vaccine complex is coming up in tamil nadu and it is near chengalpattu in tamil nadu and please don't forget india's first medi park is coming up near chengalpattu in tamil nadu and this integrated vaccine complex which will act as nodal center for research manufacture and supply of vaccines at affordable prices and vaccines will be manufactured at ivc and in this context please don't forget gavi is there that is a vaccine alliance quite frequently into the news this is a global alliance for vaccines and immunization this is a public private global health partnership and the organization which is behind the establishment of gavi is bill and melinda gates foundation please don't forget look at the next one australia defeated india by 333 runs that is not a big news but the big news is india's record of unbeaten 19 tests came to an end india created a record of unbeaten 19 consecutive tests that means 19 consecutive tests without defeat that record was broken with the defeat in the hands of australia by 333 runs right look at the next one government announced fourth series of sovereign gold bonds this is sovereign gold bonds these are available at all bank branches select post offices national stock exchange bombay stock exchange and stock holding corporation of india limited and certain important points with regard to this sovereign gold bonds i have given here minimum is 1 gram maximum is 500 grams these issues so please remember minimum under sovereign gold bond is 1 gram maximum is 500 grams the tenure of this sovereign gold bonds is 8 years but you will have exit option after 5 years and these bonds are tradable through national stock exchange and bombay stock exchange another point is these are available in dmat and paper forms and these can be used as collateral for loans for loans these bonds can be used as collateral security if you are taking loans and the next important point is fixed interest rate will be there 2.5% per annum per annum fixed interest will be paid that is 2.5% per annum and this interest is paid once in 6 months so these are the salient features of this sovereign gold bond scheme look at the next one name the state government which will launch a registry of sex offenders the state here is kerala there is a lot of debate going on whether the list of sex offenders can be made public or not kerala government decided that all the details of sex offenders will be kept in public domain whether it is right or wrong there is lot of debate going on if the sex offenders registry is available in public domain one good thing is society at large will be benefited but the bad thing is they will be discriminated too much in society so there are two ways to look at this issue and we have already deliberated on this in news editorial some time back please view that look into the next one nobel winning economist and mathematician kenneth arrow he is a famous economist he is best known for the foundation of modern social choice theory from examination perspective also very important kenneth arrow is a famous economist and he was the youngest person to win the nobel prize in economic sciences at the age of 51 and he won jointly with john hicks right so he is famous for social choice theory look into the next one name the bank which introduced rfid enabled banking cards this rfid enabled banking cards here when a customer is entering into the bank then the relationship manager can identify 
the valued customer entering the branch with the card. Once the client enters the branch, complete information about his details will be available on the manager's desktop. So, branch can treat the customers in a better way and for the first time, this was launched by Dana Bank's Bombay branch. Right? So, if someone talks about this, this is based on RFID technology. Please don't forget. Look into the next one. The last book written by APJ Abdul Kalam, Pathways to Greatness was unveiled recently. So, Pathways to Greatness, Coming Together for Change is written by the former president, famous scientist APJ Abdul Kalam. Look into the next one. Country's first Antyodaya Express was launched. The first Antyodaya Express was launched between Ernakulam and Haura. And this is equipped with cushioned seats, aluminium composite panels, LED lights and three trains were announced in the budget. Please recollect them. One is Tejas, second one is Ham Safar, third one is Antyodaya. Tejas is the train which runs much faster between two cities that is Tejas. And second one is Ham Safar. Ham Safar is a fully third class air conditioned train with more and more facilities. Then this Antyodaya is a totally unreserved train and with more facilities. So these three trains, please don't forget Tejas, Ham Safar, and Antyodaya. And Antyodaya train was launched between Ernakulam and Haura recently. And Oscar awards were announced. The best film is Moonlight. Moonlight is the best film and it got three awards and La La Land got six awards. So, maximum awards were got by La La Land. So, La La Land has got six awards whereas Moonlight got three awards and Moonlight is the best picture and best actress in leading role is Emma Stone for La La Land and best actor in leading role is Cassie Atlek for Manchester by the Sea. So, these things please don't forget. Best director Damien Chazelle for La La Land and these are held at the Dolby Theatre and please don't forget about Emmy Awards for excellence in television industry. Then Oscar Awards or Academy Awards for excellence in film industry. Then Grammy Awards, these are for excellence in music. If someone talks about Grammy Awards, these are for excellence in music. And Tony Awards, these are for excellence in theatre. So, these are important awards across the world. Please don't forget and look at the next one. According to the latest New World Wealth Report, Mumbai is home to the largest number of millionaires and billionaires. In Mumbai, number of millionaires are 46,000, whereas in Delhi, there are 23,000. And number of millionaires in Bengaluru, 7,700. And here, the total wealth is 820 billion dollars and if you look at Delhi, 450 billion dollars. So, from this statistics, you can conclude that Mumbai is two times richer in comparison to Delhi and this is given by World Wealth Report. Look into the next one, former Union Minister P. Shivashankar passed away and he served as Governor of Sikkim and Kerala and law minister in Indira Gandhi cabinet, subsequently minister for external affairs and human resource development. He died in Hyderabad after prolonged illness. Then Radhanagar beach in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. When you look at Andaman and Nicobar Islands, two things should come to your mind. Recently, last week, we talked about Barren Island. Barren Island is the place where India's only active volcano is situated. India's active volcano, India has got only one active volcano and that is situated in Barren Island in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. 
now as per some study Rathanagar beach in Andaman and Nicobar Islands featured in top 10 beaches of the world. So, if someone talks about Barren Island, if someone talks about Rathanagar beach, these two are in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Look into the next one. The world's first robo table tennis tutor. So, if someone talks about Forpheus, the full form of Forpheus is this, you can go through it and this set a new Guinness world record and the country we are talking about is Japan. So, if someone talks about the world's first robo table tennis tutor, it is Japan and the name is Forfus and the goal is to harmonize humans and robots by way of teaching the game of table tennis. Look into the next one. India and ADB have signed 375 million dollar agreement for loans and grants to develop Visakhapatnam Chennai Industrial Corridor. 375 million dollar pact was signed between Asian Development Bank and India basically to develop East Coast Economic Corridor or ECEC and East Coast Economic Corridor is India's first coastal economic corridor along East Coast. Look into the next one, Mobile World Congress was held recently and at Barcelona it was held and at present the chairperson of GSMA is Sunil Bharti Mittal. Please do not forget. So, if someone talks about the chairperson of GSMA, he is Sunil Mittal and he is founder and chairman of Bharti Enterprises. Please do not forget. And look at the next one. Name the country from which India's maximum FDI came. And India's maximum FDI came from Singapore and Please do not forget, as far as FDI is concerned, maximum comes from Singapore followed by Mauritius and foreign portfolio investment is concerned, maximum comes from United States of America. Please do not forget, here I have differentiated between foreign portfolio investment and foreign direct investment. FDI is stable, FPI is volatile investment, FPI is nothing but money coming from foreign countries directly investing in stock exchanges. When conditions are favorable, they will invest. When conditions are not favorable, they will take away overnight. So, that is why it is a volatile investment, whereas foreign direct investment is creating assets in our country like Nestle, General Electric, Coca-Cola. These companies, they establish their assets here. So, here it leads to the employment creation, technology transfer, it aids the GDP. So, foreign direct investment is more stable and foreign portfolio investment I have given here. The trades unstable, it causes asset bubbles, crashes in stock markets and emerging economies sometimes affected due to excessive capital inflows and capital flight. And if you look at FDI, this is establishing companies here, factories here and this is stable, it supplements the GDP, creates employment, stays for a longer duration. Look at the next one, Telecom Secretary J.S. Deepak, he will be the next ambassador for World Trade Organization from June 2017 and World Trade Organization was established on 1st January 1995. And J.S. Deepak at present Telecom Secretary, he will be Ambassador for WTO from June and earlier he was India's Chief Negotiator at WTO and also participated in the discussions pertaining to RCEP agreement also. You may have a doubt what is meant by RCEP, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. This is the proposed trade deal between 16 countries. Out of 16 countries, 10 countries are Asian countries and other 6 countries are India, China, South Korea, Japan, Australia and New Zealand. India's first integrated heliport, India's first integrated heliport, a dedicated landing facility for helicopters. This is the first heliport and it was established at a cost of 
rupees 100 crore and what is the purpose of this heliport the purpose of this heliport is all the operational facilities for helicopters will be available here and it will decongest the busy Indira Gandhi International Airport in Delhi and at the same time this heliport will be used for promoting regional air connectivity to North Indian cities like Shimla, Haridwar, Dehradun etc. So, it is established at Rohini in Delhi. Look into the next one. President Pranam Mukherjee has given assent to the specified banknotes cessation of liability bill 2017. So, as per this, it is a crime to hold more than 10 defunct currency notes. Now, holding, then transferring and receiving more than 10 old currency notes of rupees 500 and rupees 1000 is a criminal offence. So, now violation of this law will invite a penalty of rupees 10,000 or 5 times the amount of the face value of the bank notes involved in the contravention whichever is higher. Right? So, having the demonetized currency notes if they are held more than 10 numbers that is against the law and when you look at demonetized notes with this act government's role will be extinguished because on each and every currency note reserve bank of india governor promises to pay the amount reserve bank of india governor promises to pay the amount so that promise will be over with this act and at the same time central government guarantees that money guaranteed by the central government so the promise of reserve bank of india and the guarantee by the central government these two gets extinguished with the signature of the president on the specified bank notes cessation of liability bill 2017 so now it became an act and now the guarantee by the central government and promise by the reserve bank of india governor to pay the said amount is extinguished right look at the next one finance ministry proposed fair price shops should be engaged as business correspondents across the country now finance ministry came up with an idea fair price shops fair price shops are available across the country almost 69000 most of the villages have got this fair price shops which are used for distributing food grapes at cheaper prices or subsidized prices and the proposal by the finance ministry is fair price shops can be used as business correspondents but bankers are not in favor of this idea because some of the fair price shop owners resort to unfair trade practices and that may affect the credibility of the banking industry and that is the main contention of the bankers in a further push to promote the less cash economy the government asked all the banks to provide mobile banking facility to all the customers who have mobile phone by March 31st. So, all the customers, whoever have mobile phone, will have mobile banking facility by March 31, right? Look into the last one. The railways will soon move towards Aadhaar based online ticketing system. Railways is having an idea to move towards Aadhaar based online ticketing system basically to prevent touts from blocking bulk of tickets and also to end fraudulent bookings to curb cases of impersonation and Aadhaar number has been made mandatory for senior citizens to avail concessions in train tickets from April 1 please do not forget. Right friends with this let us conclude facts and figures please do join for other modules and capsules and live discussions. Have a nice day. Thank you.